by your own admission, if God were to judge you according to your good deeds, you're a lying blasphemer who's also broken the commandments of honor your father and your mother. Okay, so how do you determine truth on your worldview? How do you know something is true? If, depends on the context. If it has like some science behind it, then sure, so you might as well believe it. If it's something like spiritual, just if I'm content with it and I believe it, then that would be what's the truth. Okay. So what if I have a, a different kind of spiritual truth that I believe that differs from you? Are they both right? I mean, it's spiritual, because of like the nature of spiritual evidence and how you can't simply like prove it, each of us has their own beliefs and ideas, therefore each of us will have a different idea of what the truth is. So both of us should be able to live together without like trying to enforce the other's truth. And some of the things that we find is this, the Bible says, Thou shalt not bear false witness. We shouldn't lie. Have you ever told a lie before? Yes. Okay, what do we call somebody that's told a lie? A liar, yes. A liar. The Bible also talks about how you shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. You shouldn't use it as a curse word. Have you ever done that? Yes. We've all done that in so many respects. Now the Bible also looks deep within our hearts and it says, if you've ever looked at a woman with lust, Jesus calls that adultery. Have you ever looked at a woman with lust, sexual desire to have her in that way? You told me you were a liar. Come on, man. Now the Bible also tells us this. It says things like you shall honor your mother and your father. Have you always followed what your parents have said? Have you honored them? No. No? So just think about this. We've gone through three or four of the Ten Commandments. Some of them you said you would keep but we also find is, is that by your own admission, if God were to judge you according to your good deeds, you're a lying blasphemer who's also broken the commandments of honor your father and your mother. And you have to face God on judgment day. And if God is just and God requires perfection, heaven or hell at that point? I mean, even though those actions have been done, I can't say what, like, I can't decide unless I know everything that I've done in my entire life. Yeah. But even based off of that standard, if we got charged with those things, even down at our local county prison and judge, what? we would be declared guilty. So on the basis of God's word and on the basis of that standard, we find that we would be declared guilty. I don't have to know everything about a person's life in order to know a few things about their life. But so, a few things don't tell the whole story. So. Well, but in God's law, in God's thing, he says, God is holy. He can't look upon sin. The Bible says, for no liar shall have place in heaven. And all thieves and what we find is blasphemers will have their place in the lake of fire. The Bible's already told us what these few things do to determine it. You know, sometimes a single event can shape the whole course of our life. Somebody gets married, shapes the whole course of their life. Somebody gets in a car wreck and becomes paralyzed, shapes the whole course of our life. These single events shape not only the course of our life, but all of eternity. And the point is, is that if we stand before God on Judgment Day and we have these things, He's going to declare us guilty. And it's going to be a sinner's hell that we're going to face. So, sir, we're out here not to parade ourselves, but in order to share this gospel with you. We are sort of ambassadors of Christ being sent out for the purpose to say, today is the day of salvation. For you, if you believe in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you can know today, at this moment, you can go from being a child of wrath to being a child of God. You can know that if you happen to pass away, your eternity is completely secure in Christ.